Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Boston Base 31, and today I'm coming at you with my first ever Madden NFL 20 rebuild here onto the channel. I've already made the trades. It took a long time to prepare this video, so I apologize for everything coming out staggered. But um, first and foremost, thanks so much for watching. Do not forget to hit the like button and comment which team you want me to do next. And subscribe so you don't miss a Madden 20 video in the future. So going into this, the Dolphins were a 63 overall. I got their defense up to a 79, their offense up to a 71. They improved the offensive line quite a bit. I got Mr. Zach Martin, Quentin Nelson at center, and Marshall Yonda at right guard. And just our tackles are not going to be any different. We're going to stick with them. And then at receiver, we stick with Devontae Parker, Alan Hearns, and Yakeem Grant. And then running back, we stay with uh, Kenyon Drake and Keith Lodge, and then quarterback, we're just sticking with Mr. Ryan Fitzpatrick. On defense is where we made most of the improvements. As you can see, we got Mr. Colias Campbell, Gary on Conley, Sandy on Howard still, Bryce McCann, uh, Mika Fitzpatrick at strong safety, and then we got the veteran leadership of Mr. Vaughn Miller. So we've got two superstar X factors now on this team, and we also have some superstars on our offensive line so yeah and there we go so you can have up to six zone superstars i should say so right now uh we'll just yeah i pretty much know how to do this so we'll just we'll do do these, but I'm not playing them, so just simulate the training just because you don't have to worry about playing them, playing any of these games. But let me know what you all think how we're going to do this season. And uh, we got some upgrades already on the team, so that's good. Zadie and Howard are already up to an 84. And he's well, still an 83, but he is now a scheme fit. Getting your players in the scheme fit is key. That is what I've noticed. So, right now, let me know what you think our record will be. I think we'll finish either 8-8 eight eight or 9-7, just because of how the improvements on offense is, and especially on defense. So, we'll see how it goes as we are entering week 8. Going into week 9, I'm pretty sure that this team could potentially go into playoffs. So, I'm going to say we go 9-7, and seven, and we will find out in 3, 2, one. Okay, so we won our last game against the Patriots. So that's good to see. A lot of upgrades. 51 players, so that's how many players we had. And we did not make the playoffs because you can see um, practice squad players are signed and we got our contract. It's so sweet. But five years for three mil. So, uh, finished with a 73 overall, and we went 8-8. Eight and eight. So, we did one game worse than I thought we would have done, but I'll take it. So, uh, I'm not going to end the video right now because it's three and a half minutes, but I'll take 8-8. Eight eight. That's a pretty good record. Um, we're hosting on the retreat class, so that's kind of funny. Fitzpatrick actually played pretty well. 25 touchdowns, 10 interceptions, so good numbers for him. But this is a good successful rebuild, I must say. Just the first one on to Madden 20. And if you haven't already, do not forget to hit the like button. I provide my little gifts here up onto the screen. Don't forget to hit the like button. And as also, subscribe so you will not miss a Madden 20 video like this in the future. But uh, Cannon Bellage got Mr. Eight touchdowns, only 619 rushing yards, so kind of depressing there. Uh, Devontae Parker could have got another receiver, but these two are good enough. And then you get Hugh Grant, Mr. Speed Demon, and um, the leading touchdown getter was Mr. Alan Hurts from Miami. Okay, so he's, he's local. Before I move on to the defense, our tackles actually did really well. I don't really take that back. Uh, Kilgore played good. Martin played good. And look at this. Mr. Marshall Yonda and Quentin Nelson did not allow a sack. 
Despite Nelson being out six games, he did not allow a sack. But Yonda played the whole 16 years, 16 years, wow, 16 games, and did not allow a single sack. That is impressive. Uh, leading tackler was Mr. Jerome Baker with 113, and below him was Mr. Eric Crow, Mika Fitzpatrick with 94, and Gary McConley, the former Oakland Raider, got 92. Uh, leading interceptions was Mr. Jerome Baker as well. And then our secondary came up clutch. Did we have any defensive touchdowns? Of course we did. We did not. But we did get a safety. And it was Jerome Baker. So he played actually really well. I feel like some of my guys played 17 games, but interesting that these guys played 17 games and then it's a 16 game schedule. So the worst offense in the league, okay, but 18th best defense, so not too bad, I must say so myself. So, uh, yearly awards, let's see you got MVP, Aaron Rodgers. Patriots with 7 and 9. Deshaun Watson finished third. So Aaron Rodgers is your MVP. Coach of the year is Mr. Freddie Kitchens, who at 13, 1 and 2 with the Cleveland Browns. That is crazy. But uh, I'll definitely take a 9, I mean, is it 8 and 8 we finished? Yeah, 8 and 8, one game out of the wild card. I mean, let's go ahead and send to the Super Bowl. And I am just, I'm happy with it. My team is done. Um, upgrade pay players. We still got some players. Mr. Jerome Baker. Probably got an award, honestly. That's probably best linebacker. Uh, Super Bowl 54. The first Madden 20 rebuild onto the channel is coming to a close. But as I've been saying, do not forget to hit the like button. Comment below which team you want to see next. And subscribe. And the Super Bowl prediction, the first prediction of this year so far is going to be the New Orleans Saints and the Kansas City Chiefs. And who will win Super Bowl 54? And it's going to be none other than the Kansas City Chiefs. So, if we can check the box score of that game, that would be amazing. And we can. So it didn't go in overtime. But the Saints killed them in every attack. Passing yards was the closest category they had. Jeez. But they even led in possession and got beat. Dang. No interceptions, so that's crazy. Kamara led the game in with 82 rushing yards. Dio and Yoder had two touchdowns. Michael Thomas had one. Tyreek Hill had one. Travis Kelsey had one. Latavius Murray had one. Leading tacklers, Mr. Kendall Fuller and Morris Claiborne with nine. And then Tyron Matthew. Rashad Breland with eight. And then the leading tackler for the Saints is Alex. And it's all the I think that's how you say his name. So that's going to do it for this rebuild, and like I've been saying, do not forget to hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and comment which team you want to see me rebuild in the next one. And as always, this is Boston Beast 31, signing out.